Batman, X-Men, The Avengers, the comic book genre is incredibly popular in today's cinema, and DC and Warner Brothers have been cranking out the superhero flicks for some time. Sadly for them, they're kind of lagging behind Marvel movies in terms of both quality and popularity. On the whole, Marvel films have tended to perform better both critically and commercially than their DC competitors, and DC movies having mistakes in them really doesn't help their cause. Unfortunately, with comic book movies being so popular, people are bound to notice these mistakes. Things like continuity errors and stuff being in the shot that shouldn't be are found in them all. And with that in mind, here are the 10 biggest DC movie mistakes they don't want you to find. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice at the very start of Dawn of Justice, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne is in Metropolis, attempting to save as many people as he can from the destruction being caused by Superman's fight with General Zod. He runs into a massive dust cloud that was created by a building crashing to the ground. But in the scenes that follow, Wayne and the other people who were exposed to the dust cloud don't seem very dusty. Given the thickness of the cloud and the level of exposure they had, they should all be completely covered and choking on it. You only have to look at similar scenes from the 9-11 tragedy to know that. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice Another mistake in Batman vs Superman comes just after the fight takes place between the Dark Knight and the Man of Steel. The battle left Superman looking like a mess. His hair was disheveled and his face had a cut on it that was bleeding quite badly. But moments after the fight had ended and Supes headed to confront Lex Luthor in Doomsday, the wound had miraculously cleaned itself up and his hair was neatly styled again. Man of Steel in the Man of Steel scene in which Henry Cavill's Clark Kent is working on the fishing boat out at sea, there's a strange error involving a prop on the boat. A bundle of rope is dropped on the deck, and when it drops, it is clearly a pile of cut-up strands. But when Clark goes to pick it up and the camera focuses on it again, it has suddenly changed into a nicely looped up solid piece of rope. Watchmen in the brilliant and extremely underrated Watchmen movie, Marlon Ackerman plays Laurie Jupiter, aka Silk Spectre 2. She has a very distinctive and sexy outfit that includes a pair of stiletto-heeled boots. But in one scene, they suddenly change to flat-soled boots. It's the scene in which she and Night Owl fight their way through a rioting group of prisoners to free Rorschach. And it's obviously for the sake of the stunt woman who would struggle to perform her stunts in stiletto heels. You gotta be kidding me. The Dark Knight Rises Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy was fantastic. And some of the major reasons for that were the brilliant action scenes. The choreography was great, and as a general rule, even the extras playing flunkies and henchmen did the job seamlessly. But there was a particular scene in The Dark Knight Rises that tarnished the franchise somewhat. It comes in a fight scene on a rooftop in which Christian Bale's Batman and Anne Hathaway's Catwoman go up against a group of Bane's henchmen. In the background, you can see one of the henchmen standing in a combat pose. Then, out of the blue, without anyone actually throwing a punch at him, he dramatically falls to the ground as if he's been drop kicked by Superman. You had one job. Superman Returns In 2006, Superman Returns was a hotly anticipated movie. It marked the first appearance of the Man of Steel on the big screen since Christopher Reeve had last played him in 1987's Superman 4: The Quest for Peace. But frankly, it wasn't very good. One of the few memorable scenes in the movie was when an airplane carrying Lois Lane was plummeting to Earth and Superman intervened to save the day. Amidst the chaos of the scene, there were a number of continuity errors, the silliest of which involved a pair of glasses. After the airplane had been safely brought to a halt by Superman, the blonde woman on board can be seen with her glasses crooked as a result of the craziness that just occurred. But in the scenes before and after, they are perfectly straight. Superman 1978 Superman is still regarded by many people as an iconic superhero movie, and with that in mind, it does seem like a shame to pick on it. Unfortunately, there are actually a huge number of mistakes, but we'll go with a rather humorous one for this video. At the beginning of the movie, when Marlon Brando's Jor-El is placing a baby Kal-El into the spacecraft to spare his life in the wake of Krypton's imminent destruction, you can actually see Brando's expensive watch emerge from under his sleeve. Unless we're expected to believe that Rolex have gone universal and taken their brand into the distant cosmos, this is a mistake that the people behind Superman didn't want viewers to see. My baby! Batman Returns Back in 1992, Batman Returns saw the iconic Danny DeVito playing the movie's main villain, Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin. Towards the end of the movie, while trying to kill Batman with his trusty umbrella, the Penguin succumbs to wounds he'd suffered a few moments earlier and dies. At that point, his Penguin family carries out a sort of makeshift funeral for him by pushing his body into the water. But there are a couple of mistakes in the sequence. First of all, there's clearly no physical contact between the Penguins and the dead villain, so they couldn't possibly be pushing him. And secondly, a couple of seconds after his body slides into the water, the slideboard prop that allowed his body to move into the water in the first place slips out in front of him under the water's surface. Steel 
The inclusion of 1997's awful Steel movie on this list is a little different from the others, in the sense that the entire movie was a huge mistake and DC must be regretting absolutely everything about it. Conceiving the idea for the movie was the first error. Steel just isn't a popular enough character to warrant it. Giving the movie a budget of $16 million was the second mistake. It wasn't enough money to produce a good superhero movie, but it was too much to expect it to make a profit spending anything more than a million on it. Actually making it was the third mistake. No! But casting Shaquille O'Neal in the lead role was the fourth and biggest of the mistakes. The acting was poor, the story was weak, and nothing exciting happens. All in all, it was one big disaster that DC would rather you didn't notice. Suicide Squad In a cinematic era dominated by movies based on Marvel properties, DC is looking to finally emerge from their rival's shadow with a cinematic universe of their own. It's not going so well so far, as both Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice received mixed reviews at best. So the last thing DC wants us to notice is that they're relying on sexualizing their female characters to win fans over, right? Why then does Suicide Squad already look like it's doing exactly that? From the trailers and promotional materials alone, DC have dropped the ball in that regard. Harley Quinn is scantily clad, and the trailer shows her bending over with the camera focused on her rear end. Katana's armor from the comic books has been traded for a midriff bearing top, and even Enchantress, who's never worn anything like that in the comic books, is wearing a metal bikini-esque costume reminiscent of Princess Leia's in Return of the Jedi. DC, if you thought we wouldn't notice what you're doing here, you thought wrong. Big mistake. Thanks for watching our list of the 10 biggest DC movie mistakes they don't want you to find. Did you enjoy this video? Which other mistakes have you noticed in DC movies? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.